I hope this works. Yes. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. So happy to see you coming here and showing the interest for the next generation. And this seminar is under the title, the, A Way to Move Forward. I'm Diana Kržanić Tepovac. I know it's so hard to pronounce my name. I'm coming from Serbia and I'm a Citer Serbia president for a while. <laughs> And I have been also serving this wonderful association, Asitesh International, as an EC member for two mandates. So I'm very happy to know how this next generation program has been developing a start. Actually, I've been in 2008 in Australia in a, my second Congress when it started as a program. And I thought that there, we would have one of the participants in that time here, I, maybe he will join us a little bit later to maybe talk about his uh, remembering and experience in that time, but it was a program. I know it's, a, it's something like a story doesn't sit, sit and fit everywhere, but I just want to remind you that at the beginning, the this program was created and worked until 2017, mostly related to the Congresses and Asitesh gathering later on when they have been established for 2011. So meaning these are really very huge, big, the biggest yearly or three yearly period uh, meetings of the Asitesh international members all around the world, which means there was so many different places where it was based. There have been so many different people from all around the world. And it's a kind of prestige to be a member of that and to become a member as alumni in the whole list of the people that have been passing through this wonderful program. I have been just told that the next generation program of this year are here. So I greet you. It's, I hope you are really enjoying it. <laughs> And we will see what will come out afterwards. <laughs> we are very excited always to find out what is going on. Um, lately, as everything else in the world, uh, each part of the world have been touched or under the pressure of this COVID, you know, and that was the stuff that we could not make this program. But also sometime about 2016 and 17, the EC was starting to think about uh, developing more programs, not only related to these Asitesh gatherings, but also to kind of support and provoke people who have been alumni or people from or members of the Asitesh International through the Asitesh centers, national centers, to in um, to find out the way how to make the residencies in a smaller scale, especially and particularly in the region where people who are going to be invited to uh, compete, to be uh, members of the residences in that uh, regional residences, could easily cover the expenses to come to. So, and also because the residences in the smaller scale, particularly in the regions, could develop an answer to the question particularly uh, specific for that region. I hope that you can recognize how important that could be and how provocative it can be and how successful and um, the outcomes of that can be really powerful. Today we are going to see for that uh, three samples of what was going on in between 2017, actually from 2018, three samples to uh, how the programs have been developed in that way. Uh, since some of participants who has been um, programmed to, to be a part of here, they could not get a visa, could not come to be here. So that's the reason why I am, in, in, instead of them, leading the program. But I think we should now have online first participants from Pakistan. Amir Nawaz is coming from Pakistan, and we are going to have a live presentation from him telling us about how was it in 2018 resident pro residency program of next generation done. Is it possible to connect with Amir? Please. Thank you. Let's watch this.
Hi, I am Amir Nawaz and uh, I am from Pakistan, a state Pakistan and I am uh, co-chairing the Next Generation Network with Sonia. Thank you, Diana, for introducing me. So, Stage Pakistan uh, was established in 2017 and being an alumni, uh, I was very passionate with my team to establish uh, the first program and that was the next generation program straight away. So within six months, uh, we did this program, next generation program in Pakistan and it was really a tough program at that time, but now it's really easy to do. Uh, because the aim of and the objectives what we want to get from it uh, that was really crucial at that time so can i see the next slide please so here this is connecting the dots it's really important because the aims uh, of uh, this residency was to bring young artists together from different cultures and the background to explore the world of tya and to create a space for international collaborations to introduce emerging artists to establish theater and the festivals and to help strengthen tya sectors in different regions and for that it's really important to connect the dots to connect the people from different regions to connect the young theater makers from different regions and uh, it was uh, that that is the success of uh, this program and we are seeing you all as a potential a motivator in the future to conduct this program at your centers uh, or at your countries so that's why we are trying to establish this session as a motivational session for you all so next slide please so in 2018 11 countries and 20 artists were together in lahore pakistan and we started this program and this program was not associated with acetage artistic gatherings like you are participating right now uh, in art, uh, artistic gathering nor this program was associated with artistic uh, congress so this is an independent program but under the acetage umbrella and we have 20 wonderful artists in our first program uh, from different countries uh, in which I think nine artists were, were from Pakistan. So please, next slide. So we have different activities, like the key components of this program is the meet and greet, and then uh, it's really important that uh, they, the, all the young theater makers, they can share their practices uh, and uh, their theater making techniques, and uh, it's really important for the for the ng program that uh, that the ng residency allows for an equal contribution from each participant regardless of language or cultural background or their uh, or their work ethics it's really important that give them the e equal uh, time and e they can share equal contribution then uh, it's really important to conduct mas master classes and the workshops like you can see here uh, in the next slide please next slide yeah so here we uh, we uh, arranged few master classes uh, uh, with the mentors and the theater experts or the performing art experts from the pakistan so that they can learn or they can share uh, what is the culture of the pakistan theater especially the TYA theater of Pakistan. And uh, the next slide. Yeah, it was really amazing that we had two final performances in 2018 uh, after just one week. And that was really amazing. Uh, people, we, it, these were really uh, an open performances for everyone. And the people were really astonished when they came to know that this is this group just joined a week before and they produces two wonderful pieces of 15 15 minutes and that's really amazing uh, this the outcome was really uh, wonderful please next slide yeah in 2019 we have 19 artists from nine countries and uh, again the uh, the 
thing is that we focused that there should be collaboration from different nationals, from different nationalities, so that especially the youth and the young theater makers of Pakistan, they can learn uh, the work ethics and the knowledge and the experience of different young theater makers. Next slide. And this is the most important thing in the next generation that the, all the young theater makers, they should work in a very relaxed mood. There should be no teacher in the class. They should not think that they are in some type of classroom. They are their own teachers. They are their own directors. We are just facilitators. And this is the core thing of next generation that uh, we have to give them a platform and it's up to them that how they want to explore the, this, all these possibilities uh, and uh, all, the, uh, all the future work, how they want to explore. So this is the most important thing in uh, next generation activity. Next slide, please. So in 2019, we have three final performances. And uh, because at that time, uh, SDH Pakistan was conducting its Tamasha Biannual Tamasha Festival also. So uh, these performances was the part of that Tamasha Festival. Like right now, uh, Bibo Festival is going on with the NG activity. So same uh, in Pakistan, there was a Tamasha Festival, which is the product of SDH Pakistan. It's a biannual uh, festival. And we had these three wonderful performances during that. Uh, the performances was really enjoyed by the audience because different cultures are together. And after just one week, uh, these young theater makers just uh, produce miracle on stage. Next slide, please. So in 2020, all you know, we in March, we were planning to have our third edition of Next Generation. Unfortunately, uh, we have to drop it due to the pandemic, but uh, SDH Pakistan decided that we should bring all those applications uh, 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 through the online. So we launched in November an online session of Next Generation and uh, it was a three days activity and it is totally a different experience for evenly for the stage Pakistan people because uh, the people was uh, we were not expecting that what will be the outcome and I really want to show that outcome later on. The next slide, please. So uh, we have 19 artists from nine countries in 2020. Uh, we evenly invited few alumni of uh, the last. Uh, 2019 session uh, and uh, this this was really amazing next slide please so in 2020 we have three final uh, three final performances that was the online performances and uh, in last year in tokyo we showed uh, one of the online performance also uh, in that online uh, uh, Congress. So it was really uh, wonderful. This, this experience, the feedback was so uh, amazing from these participants. Uh, now at this time, they are like very good friends. Uh, next slide, please. So this is the team of Acetage Pakistan, uh, which is working from previously three, four years, in fact, five years. And uh, we were very, very much committed to bring uh, next generation back to the Pakistan after the pandemic and in person next generation program. Uh, next slide, please. So this is the result of NG. Uh, different young theater makers uh, are now good friends, are good collaborators. There are collaboration programs going on. And I hope so. Uh, you also, uh, being an alumni, or if you are the participants of the NG program in the Sweden, you will carry on this legacy, and you will also start to explore the possibilities of the future collaborations. So uh, this is uh, the most beautiful end product of NG, which really we really appreciate. The next slide. Uh, 
the memories and the hope yeah we have uh, these memories with us uh, in 2021 unfortunately we uh, failed to do any ng program in 2022 we can't do it that but next year we hope that uh, we will have a next generation program uh, with more participants from more countries and uh, so that the young theater makers of pakistan can share their experience and can get that experience from the world next slide please and that's the end from stage pakistan thank you very much tiana Croatia, Slovenia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Macedonia, New Macedonia, and so, uh, and Kosovo, of course, is there. Um, the thing is that uh, what Asitir Serbia needed badly is somehow to put in a spot the theater for young audiences, not only in the different, through the different national centers uh, actions, which exist in Croatia, in Serbia, in Slovenia. But um, also, it was very important that the new generation of the professionals who have been already recognized as a really very good skilled young people and professional so that they are, have been awarded around, they don't know each other so well, although that the theater, the institutions are working amongst each other. So intention of us Serbia was to give a chance through this fantastic program, Next Generation, to make a residence, to call the, the people to come if they are interested and to find out, to make a kind of push or, or, or tickle or, or whatever is uh, some, that they can start to think and find out who they are, what are the, the same interests and if it's anything that they can do and work together. And then Sonia was one of the participants and now Sonia will present herself, but also will give you a sight about how was it and what have happened after. Please, Sonia, do. Thank you, Diana. Uh, hello to everyone. As Diana, Diana already, already said, I'm Sonia. I am theater director from Serbia. Uh, and I was one of the participants uh, of the first ever Next Generation uh, program organized in Southeast Europe. Now, four years later, I am speaking uh, on behalf of Asitir Serbia, uh, which I'm a board member of, and on behalf of the Next Generation Steering Group and the platform uh, from the first steps. Uh, in the next 10 minutes, I will present a residency that uh, personally brought a lot of open, open doors and opportunities to me, which I wasn't afraid to take. And I hope this story uh, will uh, be useful for your future work and maybe inspiring inspire you for doing something similar in your surrounding and in your future. Uh, in the first part of the session, I will present the construction of residency and targeted uh, aims and goals. In the second part, I will speak about what came out uh, as a tar uh, targeted but uh, unexpected outcomes and about our plans uh, for the future in the field of theater for young audience and next generation residency in our region. Uh, so in October 2018, uh, Esther Serbia hosted the first ever next generation program organized in Southeast Europe. Uh, limitation and challenges in performing arts for children and young people. Uh, the program was implemented in partnership uh, with the Special School for Education Milan Petrovic in Novi Sad, which provided us uh, with working and living space. Financially support uh, for residency we got from the city administration of culture of the city of Novi Sad. Uh, 
the program was initiated and set up by Diana Krzanić Tepelets, uh, the president, our president of Faster Serbia. But the workshop laboratory was created and conducted by remarkable artists. Um, uh, by remarkable art artists and ex uh, experienced facilitators, uh, which are theater director uh, Vigdis Jakobs Dotir and Nina Hajiani, and also Jovana Rakic, uh, contemporary dance art artist from Serbia. Uh, the main goal of Facitas Serbia and the reason of for organizing. Uh, this residency was to uh, gather young artists uh, from our region and push them in the way of new thinking of theater of young audience. Uh, the starting points of this, res this residency were to improve the position of young artists and they work in theater for young audience to empower young artists to accept the responsibility and challenge them to influence the change uh, through their work. Uh, uh, also to encourage them to work together in the countries of the region and thus bringing a new way of energy and refreshment in the field uh, of art uh, through the region. So when we speak about participants, um, uh, the main criteria for selecting participants was a motivation to explore uh, further in the field of theater for young audience. Uh, so the week residency program brought together 14 artists uh, from neighboring countries in Southeast Europe, recognized in their communities as emerging artists in the various artistic disciplines and expressions. Uh, the first task for organi organization, or organizing and artistic workshops was to make a safe and peaceful working and living space. Oh, in our mind, the residency was organized away from the city crowd on the edge of the city, surrounded by nature. Uh, a fun fact, actually, uh, about this place is that the residency was organized in the villa that uh, Serbian police sized from the biggest drug dealer in our criminal history <laughs> and gave to the school Milan Petrovic to use it in educational purpose. Uh, so <laughs> at the very beginning, in a, in a, in a way, justice was balanced <laughs> and the uh, drug villa, as we called it, <laughs> gave us uh, one creative, inspiring and beautiful week of fact-changing artistic work. Um, being in Villa also mean an opportunity to work in peace and create an atmosphere where the personalities of those young artists uh, came out and we had a chance to get uh, to know each other better. Uh, from the very be beginning, uh, there was excellent communication. Uh, uh, with, uh, there was excellent communication, mutual openness, respect, uh, multidirectional exchange and positive excitement. Uh, the leading team designed a workshop with a rich fund of workshops, exercise and tasks from theater and dance practice. The way of artistic work turns out to be an excellent basis for opening important issues that we have in our region. Uh, such as theater for young audience practice in the context of non-existing cultural policies. Uh, also the current situation in, in the contemporary theater for children and youth and the issues of personal limitation and challenges. Uh, other contents were a seminar on contemporary dance theater, a workshop with per art artistic organization with 20 years of work experience that gathers artists with and without learning abilities, uh, and also workshops with Ludifico, which is a non-government organization from an independent art scene in Novi Sad that promotes contemporary circus. Uh, leaders, uh, they succeed uh, in exposing artists to uh, different ideas and uh, theater practices, experiences and challenges of theater for young audience through which participants recognize common interest. Uh, the next challenge for the participants after the residency was to uh, implement and uh, uh, to implement uh, new knowledge and new experience in their daily work to somehow transform the shortcomings of the existing practice into an advantage. Uh, so in the second part of our session, I will uh, speak about outcomes uh, from our residency in Serbia.
thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Uh, thank you, Sonia. Now we have a third sample that which take the 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 Heimin. She is online, yes. Uh, Heimin will address us from South Korea. And um, it is really pity that all, all these people are not here. It, we really miss them so much. But how, however, this new technology make us to make it <laughs> somehow. So, hey, Min, are you there? To yeah. be wonderful to hear your presentation. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Hello, my name is Hey Min Han, and I'm from South Korea, and I'm theater director and actor from Theater H. And I'm here to talk about Next Generation program in Korea for last two years on behalf of ASTES Korea. Sorry, one second, my um, slide. Oh, yeah, OK. So in January 2021, ASTES Korea held online next generation program in the frame of KPEP. KPEP Korean Performing Arts Platform for Children and Youth is one of the programs in annual ASTES Korea Winter Festival. KPEP provides opportunity of culture and artistic exchange between artists. Due to COVID-19, it was proceeded online. It was for two weeks of online workshop for co-creation with the theme of pose. Four artists from Korea and four artists from Singapore, Hong Kong, Philippines, Ireland participated. The participants shared each other's idea and created a collaborative video works and presented live through YouTube streaming. I'd like to show you the video clip for the creative process. Korean artists Hemin, Myunghee, and Yoon, we had a pre-meeting to set the theme for Next Generation. After brainstorming and sharing, we have come to the world of pose. Three parts we focus on was pose as to reflect, recover, and rhythm. It started with the question of how can we face and see this pose this time we have. To apply for the program, each applicant had to submit two minute video regarding the topic. Three questions we suggested was this. What does pose mean to you? What pose do you need now? And what can we do in this pose time? And I'd like to show you the short video clips from the participant. Can you skip this part? Thank you. We had total five meetings for creating. On first meeting, we did brainstorming about the topic using keyword and divided into two groups. This is a space. <laughs> yeah, it's a space. It's on second and third meeting, each group worked on completing video with their theme. And after then, we gathered all together, watching and having feedback and we revise the video and finalize it. And then on fourth and fifth meeting, we discussed about the whole composition and try some new ideas and did rehearsal. It has been right. very new experience for all of us to work online and present online live. 
It's very exciting and also challenging. And here we are. We came through all this journey together and we are very happy to share this process and our thought with you all. Yeah. So after two weeks of workshop, we had a live presentation and had a talk with the audience and also had a Q&A session. And later we had an online networking party. It was fun and we could imagine the next step. And in, gen in this year, Astes Korea co-hosted Next Generation program with Rika Rika Festa. Dr. Norifumi Hida from Rika Rika Festa led the symposium with the theme of the role of theater under pandemic and what is next generation TYA. And Hei Min Han from Astes Korea led the workshop called Conversation with Object. It was held for two times so that artists in different time zones could participate. Even though it was quite a short time for having a discussion and workshop, it was worthwhile to meet and communication. And for the workshop, each artist brought one object which could represent their identity as a TYA artist. So we were able to get to know each other better and share our vision in TYA. Mostly, we played like a children. And in this summer, Astes Korea is planning to hold Next Generation Asia residential program. Thankfully, it will be offline event after such a long time. Astes Korea aimed to have around 16 artists. And the purpose of the program is this. First, to expand the next generation of Asian artists' creative activities and exchange for youth after the pandemic. And second, to lay the foundation for future creative activities through the network of next generation project in each country. And third, to drive the direction and message of future art creation from perspective of Asia. The so total workshop period will be two weeks and the workshop will be led by Jackie Chang, director of JMI Neuroscience Art Center. The program will be divided into three sections, lecture, research, and workshop for creation. And for more detailed information, if you are curious about it, please refer to Astes Korea website or send them email. And Astes Korea has been organizing next generation program for the last two years for artists who are willing to create and produce performance for children and youth. In Astes Korea opinion, NG is a performing art expert who pursues the next generation of art without any restriction on physical age. In addition, the goal of the Astes Korean NG program is to lay the foundation for artists who create and produce performance for children and youth. So please keep looking forward to Astes Korea Next Generation program. Thank you. Thank you, Kaimin. So I don't need to get up. That's all right here. I've been asked to get up uh, at stage, but I like I prefer here, so I'm feeling more comfortable in the near to you. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello. That's all right here. Now we will go to the second slot and I would just ask uh, presenters to be to think about the time because we are already 20 to 6. And uh, as you see, I just want to comment, I mean, as you see, these are different, but most of these programs are actually based on the next generation experiences and alumni are always making something and it is kind of a plea for you or ask invitation to follow the things because Secretary General and Asitosh International is always uh, spreading the word about the calls 
you have to follow it and find out who is the next, where is the next residency, because most of them are always obviously uh, international and you are very welcome to, to apply for it. And probably you will find something that is really completely different experience than this one. It's always different. Now we will talk, the second slot is about uh, what are the outcomes? I think we, we would like to hear the Amir first. So Amir will come. Hmm? Okay, so yeah, because because of technical uh, uh, issues, we are going to listen the outcomes of the Serbia. Uh, Sonia will present what is outcomes of that, and then we'll come back to Amir and Hayin. Hey, Min, is that okay? Yeah, let's go. I said we are uh, going to speak about outcomes uh, of next generation residency in Serbia. Uh, so uh, when we speak about purpose of educational exchange and next generation residency in this case, we need to admit that outcomes saying more about the quality and success of programs than anything else. So I think that outcomes can be uh, inspiration and future Co uh, cooperating among participants or it can be something else which can rise from particular residency and be unique as participants or the region in which they are working. Uh, so uh, common things from process evaluation that we did certainly were inspiration, contacts, new way of thinking, fresh ideas and different perspective on the uh, field of theater for young audience. After the residency, many participants use uh, methods and ideas from the workshops in their work. For me, the main value uh, was the healthy atmosphere and productive and well-connected group that depended on the moderators and the program that they, they developed. Uh, whenever uh, from then I create in the theater, I try to achieve that kind of a healthy process from where we took not only a good theater play, but a new way of thinking in the process. Uh, in a previous four years, uh, uh, we who, who were participants on that residency in Serbia, we were cooperating uh, on a lot of projects, theater plays, festivals and performances. But the initial idea of empowering young artists to accept the responsibility and challenge them to influence the change through their work uh, brought to us in Serbia an extraordinary follow up. Um, uh, the most important outcome of Next Generation in Serbia uh, was a completely new idea uh, developed by, by six different female artists who were participants of the Next Generation program and who are the head of four different organizations. Uh, we actually found a new platform named From the First Step, uh, which works on development and affirmation of theater of young audience in the region. Uh, so when we participated uh, in residential program, we quickly, quickly realized that we all share the same problems and wishes in the field of theater for young audience in our region. So we decided to try solving those problems together. In our near history, our countries were the parts of one biggest country, Yugoslavia, which ended with the war conflict. So at the same time, uh, it was really unusual and natural for our surrounding and to us to cooperate. Uh, so if we just put aside our problematic history, uh, we can say that we share similar language, uh, common history and culture. So it is much better for us to share problems too. Uh, so after a lot of meetings, uh, we became a close friends, united by openness, creativity, humanity, and love for theater and courage to do something for the common good in this field. Uh, the first thing uh, that we did uh, was to publish our manifesto uh, in which we are committed to quality content as well as infrastructure and education of professional staff working in this domain. Before we made a list of priority uh, activities, we wanted to target the problems in this field in our region. So we conducted research with three sample groups. After we finished the research, we based our all activities on the resolving of problems 
uh, that we targeted through research. So we organized a lot of various activities directed to our main goal, which is gathering of our region. Uh, one of those activities was regional conferences, uh, where we opened a few of the most important topics for the region, such as cultural politics, festival collaborations, and lack of education in this field. We also created a website for everyone involved in theater for young audience in our region. And this website is the only com uh, common place for artists and institutions and organization from this domain in our region. Uh, it is uh, actually a dead base, a dead base of uh, theater plays, artists, critics, dramas, and so on. Uh, with the gathering of region on our, our mind. We also, also developed uh, a mobile application for children and youth to educate them and influence them to be more involved in theater. Actually, from uh, we, we never start working together from this first uh, day of residency until now. And uh, that is the most valuable outcome for us, for Asita Serbia and uh, the whole region. We actually tried to apply those days uh, on next generation program on every other step that we made in this domain. Uh, that was the reason why we named our platform from the first step, because we believe that we need to start from the beginning. And maybe this kind of initiative, uh, which is connected to specific geographical area can be a good example of next level of next generation, uh, next generation program. So uh, now we are approaching to uh, the year when Serbia will be the host of Fasitesh Artistic Gathering in 2023. Uh, that means that now uh, in Serbia we have, in our re region, uh, we have the whole new generation empowered by the next generation program and united by a regional platform uh, from the first step, which is uh, responsible for developing and organizing next generation residency next year in, in Serbia. So uh, next year in Serbia will be turning point uh, where uh, new uh, new generations uh, new generations uh, will take over and become drivers of development. New technologies will be presented as a fresh way to tell stories and engage the audience in theater for young audience. New forms of story storytelling will be re-examined and the field of communication between spectators and performers will be explored. Also ecology crisis and su sustainability will be the main topic uh, as one of the uh, defining issues of our time. So uh, we as former participants of the Next Generation program in the residency developed a new program for young artists with this program, we will try to find every possible way uh, in the art to fight uh, the ecological crisis, to gather young artists in uh, residency program, next generation residency pro program with the task to develop a new way of thinking about sustainability theater, sustainability process of making theater and uh, ecological spirit in theater for young audience. Thank you a lot for your attention. Thank you. Again. Amir, if it's possible, please, online. Uh, thank you, Diana. Uh, as the time is very short now, uh, I will cut it. Uh, uh, the whole, the second part of this, that the outcome thing. Uh, as we were the host, not the participants, so our approach towards the program was uh, totally different as it's not like the as the participants. Uh, we were seeing that what the participants are getting after this program. So uh, fortunately, four different projects uh, are executed by the uh, alumni of the NG executed by the Heritage Pakistan. So that's uh, really amazing for us that uh, these young theater makers they are collaborating with each other and they are getting funding uh, normally from the embassies here in Pakistan uh, they are getting the cultural fund from there and they are collaborating and most of the uh, alumni they visited again 
in Pakistan and they visited the participants, their friends here, and they collaborate and they produce different programs and different theater here. Uh, being a uh, representative of Acetage Pakistan, I want to show a uh, uh, one minute reel to you all in which you can see that uh, how the end product was of that programs of 2018 and 19 and 20 from where uh, these participants get the lead to uh, to create new works so i like to show one minute show reel of all the final products of uh, ng by acetage pakistan let's 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 hear Hamin. could you tell us what is going on as outcome in the region would you well, share with you with us a japan thing and please yeah, i will talk about it very very shortly uh, my first experience in Aztec NG was in Okinawa in 2012. And in 2015, 16, 18, I participated in Aztec Asia Next Generation program in Tokyo for three years. And it was planned to be three years. And after the workshop, I found that the creating a performance was the best way and best bridge to share vision in TYA and to connect across the boundaries. And, and for me personally, the best outcome from NG is that I met a, a great artist and great friend who go the family, who goes the similar path with me and who can grow together. And I'm still in contact with them and I, I I believe that someday collaboration will really happen, and and some of in some of groups, some of the people they they are already collaborating. They are already having some collaborative work. <laughs> yes, and in two thousand twenty and two thousand twenty one, I was very happy to moderate uh, Aztec Korea Next Generation program. Yeah. And I'm glad to hear share the stories with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, I mean. Um, yes, please. It looks like we have a video from Amir. It was nice. We have seen it. Okay. Thank you. Krishna, would you like to just say a few words about your experience? I can't resist to, to ask you. And then there is another person to, which is really very good surprise that we have here in, amongst us for the end. Come on, Krishna. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was uh, the first time I attended the next generation residency was in 2015 in Berlin, where I met Minuash. Uh, yeah, you must have met her. Um, and we're still friends. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of us, in fact, who met those seven, eight years ago, we're still friends. And, uh, and then I was also invited as a part of the alumni the following year in 2016 at uh, On the Edge in Birmingham. And um, 
and then i was really inspired to start um the regional network a next generation india network um because um we uh, the asadej india festival had hosted the next generation program twice thrice uh, which is also where imran um amir amir who you just saw was uh, a, a participant um and i also met amir at the 2016 next generation program um and you know the program really brings people together who you wouldn't or wouldn't be able to meet otherwise it is very difficult for me and amir to just cross borders and go next door um <clears throat> but we could meet outside and um and then here i am <laughs> um so yeah it it really is about how you maintain those connections with each other with the organization and the people you meet at the festivals um i have because of next generation and the um asadej artistic gatherings i now have friends all over the world um and i can just even if i don't talk to these people every day i can just if i am traveling to their cities i can just drop a message saying hey i'm visiting your city and then we can catch up or stay with each other and uh, you know you can you can just continue that relationship and uh, you have lots of friends and collaborators um for uh, for a lifetime actually <laughs> um <clears throat> and uh, yeah the the uh, just a little bit about the next generation india network that we started um there were lots of um, participants from india who had attended the international residencies as well as the next gen india um, residencies so then and we were about eight nine people in all from across the country and um, we came together from this network where we tried to work with each other's companies and we managed to do a day at the asadej india festival where we just had a series of workshops by next generation india uh, members and participants and that was our ng day mm -hmm. at one festival and you know you can start with something really small if you really yes. want to build it up to something uh, bigger thank so you. yeah That's thank you diana <laughs> thank you very me. much for joining us nisha <laughs> So thank you very much Nishla. Are there any questions here or should I have asked a fantastic surprise for me and I'm so happy to present you uh, Yvette Hardy for long standing president of Asitej International somebody who knows so much about this old next generation program and more many other I think I would like very much if you can say a few words please Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. Uh, it's so lovely to be here. It's so wonderful to see a new batch of next generation artists. Um, this has been one of the most exciting programs for me. You know, when I first encountered the International Asatej, it was in 2008. And in 2008 was when the Next Generation program was in fact launched at the Adelaide Congress. Um, and one of the things which hasn't been mentioned, although it was maybe hinted at a little bit um, in some of the presentations, is the, the fact that Next Generation uh, programs don't just breed the most extraordinary artists and the most extraordinary collaborations that go on to being very significant on an artistic level. They also build artistic leadership. And we saw from that 2008 group of next generation um, cohort that people coming through, coming into the Asitej International Executive Commit Committee, people uh, reviving their national centers, people becoming involved in their national centers where a national center had been you know, largely run by people who'd been in the industry for their entire lives and they were now kind of in their 60s and you know, they were due for retirement. Um, it was bringing in this new wave of, of young leadership. 
And I think that that's such an exciting aspect of this festival, of this program. And I really hope that your experience at this festival doesn't just introduce you to one another and to the amazing artistic work that you're all busy creating, but it also perhaps gives you some ideas about where you can lead the field and how you can feel, lead the field in your own contexts and perhaps in the global context as well. Um, just, just to give you a little bit of an African um, input for a moment, because I'm from South Africa, from Cape Town. Um, in 2017, South Africa hosted the first Asatej International Congress, um, which uh, was on the African continent. And it was this very important moment for us to be able to bring artists from all over the African continent to Cape Town, but also to have artists from all over the world experiencing African artists, African art, um, and, and a lot of collaborations. And we had a very big Next Generation program in that year, and it was very significant. And we've seen how from that program, so many of the, of the African Assetage centers have been strengthened, have been growing, um, have been starting new festivals, have got projects happening. Um, and we're in fact going to have a meeting tomorrow, and I'm so happy that they are African participants in this next generation. You're please invited to come to the African Aceta meeting tomorrow at 11.30 um, in the Stadstheater to, to continue that, those conversations. But yes, what, what I would really just like to say is that um, this is a, it's a step into the world of Asatej and exactly what Nish has just said, you're going to meet people um, with whom you'll be friends for the rest of your life. <laughs> um, that I can promise you. Um, it's not just an experience for this moment. It really is, um, I believe, a kind of one of those transformative life experiences and hopefully not just for you personally, but for your context and for the field in your country. So I really wish you all success with um, all the work that you're doing and enjoy this time together. Thank you. Um, I would just like to ask Amir if he would like to say something for good for goodbye. Is there, are there any questions? I don't know how many how much time do we have? It's already ten past six. Huh? Is there any quick one or something that really is necessary? Or we are here. Yes. We started 2008. How many programs? How many, how many programs all over the world? I mean, we have heard from uh, yeah these three, four. Okay, how until 2017, that was one year each. So because it was connected to the wasn't like that. Yes, congresses and the Asitej gatherings. But later, these three or four that you have seen, they have been out of that program. That means nearly about, I don't know, 20, something like that until now. And this is actually, we are trying to uh, inspire you to make them much more yearly to have them 20 around the world. And I think it's possible, especially in these days when the people don't, don't, don't go so much out of the, their regions or something like that. And there are many alumni these days. We have a whole list. And one thing which I don't want to forget to say that all people who have been um, alumni in one residence program, they are alumni for all life. They are on the list. And they should visit the, the uh, fa Facebook group and, think, and, and be in contact, not only among the group, among themselves, but just to be in contact with all other people who have been already in that situation that with that experience. That's the actually uh, pool where we can uh, find the way to go further on in collaboration. I hope so. Is that uh, answer for your question? Yes, thank you. Any other quick one? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And if it's possible to see Amir, is it still online just to say goodbye from him, to have goodbye from him? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Diana. <laughs> Amir. Thank you, Diana. Uh, I just want to say one thing that this session was designed to motivate you, to tell you that if being an alumni, we all can do all these activities you can do also more centers should conduct this program because this program is not only helpful for young theater makers of that specific country but all over the world 
and so it's really important that uh, regional activities should start it's not important that only one center can uh, should do it three or four centers can do it or three or four alumni can do it uh, acetage uh, international give you uh, all the support and next next generation network is there you are most welcome if you want to contact us uh, we we are more than happy to help you uh, in every sense and to support you in in all aspect so that you can establish this residency program at your center at your country or in a region whatsoever so we are there and we want to support you and we want really that this program should be carried out uh, not only with the acetage artistic gatherings and the congress but also as an independent program under the acetage umbrella so thank you very much diana for all the support and moderating this session uh, i was uh, really lucky to have you uh, right now and uh, uh, really really uh, want to thank you and all the participants and all the presenters sonia hyman and all other people the technical staff of uh, uh, acetage online and the bibu festival and the, all the people there thank you very much on the behalf of next generation network i am really really thankful to you all thank you amir thank you thank you next time we are going to be all together in one place promise <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> okay in thank Serbia, you so much. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you so much and thank you um, the dialogue. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, see you around. We are here. If anybody would like to ask a little bit more, I'm just next 10 minutes here and then flying away to see some performances. You are going to do that the same. Enjoy the program until the end of this one and make uh, ideas for the new ones. If you want to, if you have any questions, just I'm here, All right? These days, not only now, right? Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you.